your presence today. We commit everything and everything that will happen also into this world start in prayer. If we want revival, we pray. With the people of God, cry to God for help. They pray and the Lord heard them. In time of crisis, we lift up our hands unto you and bow down and pray. And you come to rescue us. Everything starts in prayer. Amen. Lord, upon this very hour, we set miracles through prayer of God. Let this night be a landmark of a greatness of being you into our lives. Move into the prayer of your people today. We need you, Lord. And the only thing we touch heaven right now is to have this spirit of being humble before you in prayer, O God. Listen to your prayer, people of God, tonight. The desire of our hearts, the things we want to raise unto you through this prayer. Of God. Thank you, Lord, for being with us. Let the Holy Spirit move into this place and do more greater things. Amazing. And we welcome you, Holy Spirit. place, O Lord, and let this church be your sanctuary tonight. We give you honor and the praise for being with us today and listening to the desire and prayer of your children. We give you now the highest exaltation in Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all the people of God say amen and amen. I would like to welcome all the people who are watching right now and in live through the platform media. Um, welcome for this uh, setting miracles through prayer. I would like to remind everybody that our God never stopped listening to the prayer of His children. He is a God that never changed from the beginning. A God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A God who made a miracle to Moses and even a God who will do miracles to us those who are about to pray and those who are about to give their um, desire upon our Lord he is a God that can do anything those who are in crisis those who are in uh, difficulties in terms of financial and even for the physical body condition our God never stopped doing His healing and to His children. But then tonight, I would like to discuss first before we bow down and before we kneel uh, before the Lord, the manner of prayer. Let's examine first, why are those prayer of most of the prayer or some of the prayer are not being answered by God? And why are those some of the people also are being answered by God? Let's look about this a manner of prayer. Now in Matthew 6 chapter 9 uh, verses 9 to 13. Um, in verse 9 of Matthew chapter 6 it says here, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. In some of the texts, in some version, in verse uh, 11, it says there, um, at verse 12, it says there that forgive our sins as we forgive for those who sin against us. 
Verse 13, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. This is the prayer that Jesus teach us how to pray. And therefore, into this pattern, we can find out the manner of being an effective prayer. If you try to look this one, the number one manner that we have to understand before bowing our head, before we ask the Lord, that what we call prayer time, number one here is we have to observe the manner of connection. In verse 1, number 1 there, uh, the message is entitled today, A Manner of Prayer. The number one there is a manner of connection. In Matthew 6, 9, it says here, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. This is a reminder to us that the one who pray should have a connection to God. Mas napakaganda po at napakasarap isipin that this kind of connection was being bounded by love and it was being expressed into a cold a father and a son kind of relationship. There is no such thing that the father will neglect his children. And because of that, in this kind of connection as a father and son, we never forget that it is in the foundation of love. That God did everything just to redeem His beloved sons and daughters of this world that He created. John 3.16, it says, Therefore God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. And therefore, it is very important for those who pray with us tonight, even in the platform of media, or even for those people around us tonight in our prayer meeting, we have to understand that one thing in a manner before we pray tonight is, are we establish our connection to God as a father and as a son? Now, if you are watching right now, you can ask yourself, you can put your hands into your heart and say, Lord, am I your son? Sa ato akaron nga na, Adri, sa prayer meeting, pwede yun ni mo kuhitun imuhang ka o bandaing na nga, na anak ba ka sa gino? Because this is a manner of prayer. And that's the reason Jesus teach us that to address, it is not difficult for God to move, it is not difficult to the Father in Heaven to do miracles for us, as long as there is a connection. And therefore, ang una sa tanan is, we have to understand that we have to make Him as our Father. Siguro maraming nagtatang, paano ang gagawin nating Papa? Or Father ang ating Diyos? Now, let me read you into, into book of John chapter 1, 12. It says here, Yet to all who did receive Him, Jesus Christ, to those who believe in His name, Jesus Christ, he gave the right to become children of God. We can only ask the Father right now for our desires, for the prayer that we have to utter. It is if we establish our relationship to Him as a Father through Jesus Christ. When we receive Jesus, then you are a child of God. This is number one manner that we have to understand before kneeling before God. So, dapat maiintindihan na hindi pala lahat ng parang nagiging bukang bibig lang ang prayer. No, there is a connection. And it tells us tonight that we should never forget that Jesus is the way towards the Father. So, I would like to invite everyone, especially in live right now in media. If you never received Christ before, let me bow or let us bow our head tonight and pray with me. Let's bow our head. Father, I receive you, Jesus. I receive you, Jesus, as our Lord and Savior. Let your blood cleanse me and let me you as my master and a deliverer Deeper of my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior from this moment, from this very moment of my life. Thank you, Lord, and I give you honor and the praise for receiving me as another or a new member of the family of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord 
Amen and Amen. It is very important that you have a connection with Jesus before you pray. Because only in Jesus move miracles into His name. And you have to understand that this name is not an ordinary name. It is a name that given by the Father in heaven that all the knees in heaven, on earth, even underneath the earth, bow down before Him and kneel before Him. So therefore, we have to understand that those who pray should secure the manner of connection to the Father. So we need to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. In Galatians 3.26, it says there, So in Christ Jesus, you are children of God through faith. Again, move with faith. The moment we declare that our Father in heaven, we become His children through Jesus Christ, our faith move. You cannot approach the kingdom of God without believing your Father in heaven. Number two, before we go into our prayer, we have to establish the manner of reflection. In Matthew 6, 9, it says there, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. In other version, it says there that, May the holy of your name be kept. Therefore, the reflection of God is holiness unto us. We should live accordingly. Sabi nga ng 1 Peter 1.15, But just as He called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. We try to make it right. Those things that we will be doing every now and then, we strive to make it right before the eyes of the Lord. For the one who called us is holy. What is the implication and relation on this into our prayer? Why we need to reflect the holiness of our Father into us and to us. In James 5.16, the prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. Therefore, we, ne we, we are not only running to the throne of God and telling Him to do so. If you never understand the image of God that He wants to reflect from us. That is holiness. That's the reason before only the priest can bring your desire, your prayer into the Holy of Holies because they were so holy. They were so devoted in the work of God. But into this New Testament that we have, it is so wonderful that when Jesus died on the cross, He struck the veil in the the holy of holies and we have now a chance to enter into the presence of the father in heaven by the blood of christ and that's the reason we need to understand that before bowing ourselves and ask something from the lord in a form of prayer reflection is very important before you can have our god is holy and we should be holy Lisod man pastor? Yes, of course. But by grace and through Jesus Christ, all things will be holy if you receive Him. No one can make yourself holy except by the blood of Christ. And that's why we need Christ in our prayer. That's the reason why we need Him. Into this text, sabi pa ng pangatlo, number one, the manner of prayer is you establish your connection, then the reflection, lastly is your submission. Let me read in Matthew 6.10. Your kingdom come. You know, when, when this kingdom come to us, sabi nga, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, if you have this kingdom of the Lord, when you receive God, as when you receive Christ, As the kingdom of God who reign in our hearts, there is now the Holy Spirit move and everything becomes impossible. Uh, and everything does impossible become possible for us through the Holy Spirit. And that's the reason, again, it's very important that the will before this kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It requires submission. We have all desires in our heart but need submission. 
Lord, ano yung gusto mo? And everything we will be doing, bring this prayer before the Lord with submission. Dili ato ang kabubuton, ang kabubuton sa Dios, Because, ingon pa ang Romans 12. Why we need to understand this will of God over us? Because in Romans 12 too, it says there, you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. will and that's the reason you have to transform your mind. Transform your mind. You never live into a manner of thinking of who you are, a manner of thinking that you want to do into your lives, and you just ask the Lord to do it because you want to want this thing to happen in you. You ask the Lord to move because you believe that in His moving, there is a good, there is a pleasing and perfect will. And that brings us bowing before the Lord and trust Him. Lastly, in the, in the conclusion of the matter, before we pray tonight, in Matthew 6.11, it says there, Give us today our daily bread. If you see, after your connection, after our reflection and the submission, then it goes, give us today. Here comes now the moving of the Lord. Here comes now the answer and the provision of what we ask from Him. So napakasarap isipin nga, after the manner, we understand the manner of whom we ask, and the manner of whom who asked, kung kinsa ang atong ipangayuan, o kinsa ang nangayo, sabta ni mo ba? Nga prayer pala is not just only a bubbling of mouth, saying some words, hindi. Dili day ang prayer nga, luhod lang ka, hapa lang ka, istorya ka. No. There is a connection. The connection of being the father and the son. The connection of love. Pag sinabing amahan o anak, wala yung pwedeng dilihimuon ang amahan para sa iyang anak. That's how the fathers move. Second is that your, your, your reflection. Ingon ganitong isa, ingon pa ang parisis in the book of gospel, in the gospel. The Lord, salamat kayo kaya di ko parihan nilang mga tikasan, di ka balo mo tights, mga daog daog. Di ko parihan nila, Lord. Thank you kaayo, Lord. Ang isa, nga tax collector, he beats his breast, niya ingon siya, pasailua di ko, Lord, dili di ko worthy ka ni mo makasasala. Di ko. Layo rin ko kayo siya, wag yun siya muduol dito sa atubangan. Kay he feels nga, dili yun siya worthy, but he tried himself so much. The Lord, pasailua di ko. And then Jesus concluded, the one nga muuli, nga satisfied and justified is the one who understand that he needs God for his sin to be cleansed. So, in ana ang atua mga igsoon. Tonight, I believe, before we ask the Lord, and even for those who watch us, at itong mga nagtanaw karon sa media, before we bow down our heads, make sure you receive Jesus Christ, for He is the way to the Father. Make sure that starting tonight, Lord, make me as a reflection of who you are in a sense of holiness. Dilik man mi perfecto, Lord, but let us reflect you through Jesus Christ that we shine before men through the glory that you have given to us through Jesus Christ. Lastly, Lord, thy will be done. Dami po nating gustong ipray ngayon. We believe God will move. But again, we never forget His will be done. Magpipray po tayo ngayon for a healing over those sick people in the church. We pray for those emotional crises to be stable, to refresh life for those who are droning into darkness. Lord, again, let all these things down into your glory. Tayo po ito mayo ngayong gabi. Hallelujah. Could we sing a song? Thank you, Lord. And we give you the praise and the glory.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Oh, we give you praise, O God. Let come and now in the presence of our Father. Hallelujah. the miracles that comes from For when we reflect your holiness on us, all those miracles that you've done to us will bring down into your glory. And that's the reason, Lord, we ask forgiveness for all our sins. And we remember, Lord, that your love will be the constant unto this world of Father that we can trust. For in your love, you forgive. For in your love, you forget. For in your love, there is no condemnation. Through Jesus Christ, as your Son and our Lord and Savior, Father, we air our prayer request tonight. First, Father, for all those brethren who suffer for a physical sickness right now in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, for your healing. In the name of Jesus, I am declaring and we are declaring together with the righteous people who bow before you tonight, O oh God, we declare healing over sickness, O oh Father. 
I thank you, Lord, that you will move into the lives of those brethren who suffer right now in physical sickness. Healing shall come unto them. We remember Brother John right now, O God. Let your hand touch him. Let your hand move on him in Jesus' name. Lord, we bow down before you and ask you, Lord, in this miracle once again. You are a God. For 15 years in this ministry, you never stop doing miracles to your children in this church, O God. Sa isang pagkakataon o Diyos, let us, O Father, experience again your miracles. Heal in the name of Jesus, Brother Chong, for whatever the sickness in him, in Jesus' name, we cast away this kind of sickness. And Lord, I am praying in the name of Jesus that you continue, O Lord, to stretch out your hands of protection to all your children, O Father. Protect us from this viruses, O Lord. COVID-19 or whatever those viruses around us, O oh God. Let the whole armor of protection, Lord, shall be upon your children, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you will do, O oh God, something great, something new in this church, O oh God. I also pray, Father, for those who are suffering right now in emotional crisis, a family that is about to break down in the name of Jesus. I send the Holy Spirit unto them through Jesus Christ and uphold them with your love, O oh God. No one shall a family goes into a break, O oh God. You will continue, Father, to heal those hearts that undergone right now in pain. Let your love shall be the foundation of their family. Lord, heal, heal every family na adunay kagubot sa ilang pamilya amahan. Lord, heal every family na naay mga pain. And Lord, heal all the family, your children's family, O oh God, who suffered right now for misunderstanding. We cast away the spirit of the devil, the enemy of the spirit, Lord, that upon this household of your children, as we reflect your holiness, as we establish connection with you, Lord. Lord, heal, O oh God. And those who are watching into our live platform right now, if you are into this situation, I am declaring that the Lord shall hold and uphold. And I declare and decree for a family that is about to be a son of the Lord. A family that is stronger than ever before in Jesus' name. A family that the foundation is Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you heal Lord, I pray that you give us our daily bread. Father, we are much thankful enough that you never neglect the daily needs of your children. Even overflowing daily, oh God. Continue to bless the work of the hands of all the members of this church and all those children of yours who receive you, O oh Father, through Jesus Christ. Let the healing of financial shall be upon them. They will experience new things. You will open the streams of water through the wasteland, Lord, so that it will become abundant kind of land. Thank you. Let your spirit shall be in this church. Thank you, Father. Could we raise our hands to God? And as, as we sing this, as we sing this song, Hallelujah.
You set, O oh God, something great and you into the lives of your children. Father, I thank you for moving. Thank you, Lord, that you start touching those brethren of us who are in, you know, in physical father suffering. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. Salamat, Lord, even Ogan, for the financial and even for raising up the millionaires that comes within into this church. Whoever those people that whom being assigned into this calling shall again emerge into this year in Jesus' name. There will be more additional millionaires in this church, Ogan. Oh, Lord, as long as Father we continue to bow down and submit and reflect and the connection Father, we have a right Lord to ask you to move in Jesus name Father thank you so much above all I am declaring everyone to all who are here into this prayer meeting, into this hall come on Talk to our Father. His presence is here tonight. His amazing moving is into this very moment of our hours. Ask the Lord. Talk to Him. He is your Father. He has loved you so much. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Salamat, Lord. We give you the praise, O God. Hallelujah. In your presence, in your presence, there is peace. In your presence, yes, Lord. In your presence, oh. there is joy. Let me linger, let me stay. Yes, oh God. In your presence, oh. day by day. Hallelujah. Till your likeness may be seen in me. Amazing. In your presence, in your presence, there is peace. Thank you, Lord. Let the peace reign in to your all presence, of us through Jesus. In your presence, there is joy. Thank you, Lord. Let me linger, Lord, let me stay in your presence you, day by day. Yes, till your likeness may be seen in me. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, as we end this prayer, 
an hour of setting miracles through prayer tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for hearing all the uttered prayer and even those unuttered prayer of your children. Thank you so much that we bow down before you tonight into this very time that we can experience also your miracles. Napakasarap pong magpuri sa iyo, Ama. Napakasarap pong makipag-usap sa iyo, O Diyos. Napakasarap, Ama, na sumandal sa dibdib ng ating Diyos. Ooh, Lord, teach us, Father, to pray more harder even before. To desire you more of oh into this let this night of prayer father will be the starting point of your miracles for those who have who attended those who watch on the live platform of media those who are into this sanctuary of yours May the starting point of miracles, Amen. good things, blessings, protection, and even for the young people who gather here this evening, the right and a bright future shall be upon you all in Jesus' name. Continue to desire God above all. Continue to put God first above all. Continue to establish connection to Him. Continue to reflect His holiness. Continue to submit before His will, for in His will is perfect, pleasing, and good. Napakabuti mo, Diyos. Tonight, we settle our hearts again and thanking you and giving you back all the praise and the glory for the answered prayer we had this evening. In Jesus' name and all the people of God, we say, Amen and Amen.